then and joining me in studio this morning is Salah Abdi Sheikh who's the author of Blood on the Runway a book that just captures some of what happened then and he'll be uh, breaking down for us what it is that inspired him to write this book what he remembers or what he's come to learn as he was quite young at the time of this particular massacre and of course more of what has been unfolding as Kenyans remember uh, this uh, particular tragedy in its history so we're glad you're watching if you have a comment contribution any message, any uh, you know, di messages still directed to the government, uh, you can tweet us at Sophia Wanuna, you can send a message double two one double five. Salah, we appreciate you joining us this morning. Thank you very much. So you were six years old when this happened. Um, you were not in the particular area that was affected. But tell us, growing up uh, later on, what you'd hear your earliest, earliest memories of this particular massacre. Okay, my earliest memories will probably be uh, fear. Mm -hmm. I remember at the time there was a lot of fear. People were hiding in the bush. Uh, people were leaving town actually. Uh, at the time, there were a lot of other things. Uh, for instance, there were stories. You know, we didn't we didn't, we didn't see actually what happened. We were young, but most of the children were being told the stories of what happened in Wagala. How people were put in a, in a, in a you know how they were gathered in a, in a strip and they were yeah. killed and and. Uh, some of the children actually saw what happened, so they will give us the stories of, mm -hmm. of, of what they saw. Uh, what I remember vividly is we used to play this uh, football where, you know, children where they play football with the socks. Yes. And then uh, the team is made of maybe 24 by 24 instead of uh, 12 eh, or 11. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you will see that maybe three of us had their, father, their fathers alive, the rest were orphans. So we could, we could, we could actually understand what, what, what happened. Yeah. Uh, because the families all over the place were mainly held, led by by mothers mm -hmm. uh, you know widows so those are the the recollections i have of of, of wagala massacre and that's what I, i've actually put in the book what, yeah. what i remember 